Grammarly has been my tool since 2017. When it was released, it was not very good. But it's been over two years and I have seen this keyboard app growing. In this video, we are going to explore Grammarly keyboard app. We will look at the free as well as the premium version. The app offers the light as well as the dark theme. You can add borders, number row and change the height of the keyboard. Down the bottom, you have some more options to customize. On Grammarly settings screen, you get more keyboard options, including swipe to type, emoji suggestions, synonyms suggestions and more. You can also change the language. It only supports English by the way. The personal dictionary shows your overall dictionary. If you delete anything from here, it removes from the web account as well. The account is required before using the app. It shows the premium sign next to the account label if you have the premium subscription. Tapping on the account button shows your email and your plan. Now, look and interface are the same as a standard keyboard app. The G looking icon is used to switch between mistakes and suggestions. Any time to change the keyboard, you can tap and hold on the spacebar. As you type, the app keeps checking for mistakes. It shows the total number of errors above that icon. Tapping on that icon shows each mistake one by one with a solution. It also shows some more information about the mistake. As you know, the free version does not check for all the mistakes. It used to show the total number of mistakes which only Grammarly Premium can fix, but it does not anymore if you have a free subscription. Let's look at both plans side by side. Here are a couple of sentences with a few mistakes. I have already tested these sentences, but I want to show you how Grammarly Free and Paid stand against each other. The app shows grammatical errors from bottom to top and it highlights the actionable word. The app also comes with a built-in thesaurus. If you tap on a correctly written word, then you will most likely see synonyms for that word. Touching on a synonym replaces the original word. Moving to the swipe typing and suggestions. It requires some updates. It is not accurate as Gboard and Swift key, but if you swipe carefully, then the app will type the correct word. The app does not show the recommendations from your history or your location. If the swipe is a little bit different, the app sometimes adds an entirely different word. Now, let's talk about emoji and media. The app does not offer stickers and GIFs, but it provides a wide range of emojis. The emojis come in eight different categories and you can browse through one by one by swiping from left to right. The app uses Google Voice or other default input to record your speech and convert into text. If you copy and paste something, most of the time it detects the change and shows the mistakes straight away. Sometimes it does not. In that case, you can delete the last period key or whole word and type it again. This will signal the app that some changes have been made. Anyway, here was a quick video covering Grammarly keyboard app. I hope the video helped. Thanks for watching. Please let me know your views in the comments below and like and share this video if it helped. You can also subscribe to my channel for more review and comparison videos. Thank you.